how is it going everybody mr android here welcome back to a brand new video on this channel if you are a samsung galaxy user then i'm sure you might heard of goodlock goodlock is an amazing application made by samsung which helps you to customize and add more awesome features to your samsung phone with that being said today i'm going to show you how to get most out of this incredible application and take your smartphone experience to the next level so stay tuned and watch this video till the very end Also, let's aim for at least 1,000 likes on this one. With that said, drop a like, leave a comment, and let's get started. I'm sure a lot of you must have already installed GoodLock on your Samsung phone, but in case if you don't have this app, then just head over to the Galaxy Store and search GoodLock. I'll also make sure to drop a direct link in the description below. So just go ahead and install this amazing app on your phone. Right now, I'm watching a video on YouTube, and if you want to convert this video moment into a GIF. It's very simple. I just need to swipe down from the left and I get this recording window. I can adjust it anywhere on the screen. Make sure it is set to high quality and click on record. Now it automatically generates the GIF which gets saved in my gallery from where I can send it as a meme to my friends or anyone in WhatsApp. Now let's say I'm in Chrome and I want to open a new tab. I need to tap on this plus icon that is on the top right and then select a new tab. Instead what I can do is I simply swipe from the right and it opens a new tab for me. I was able to add these additional actions with the help of a GoodLock module called One Hand Operations. So get One Hand Operations from GoodLock. You can assign different actions for the swipe gestures on both the left and right edge. For each side, you can define six actions and you can assign any of these shortcuts. You can open your quick settings by swiping left or open a new tab in Chrome by simply selecting this option called keyboard shortcuts. and my favorite has to be the smart select animation that opens a recording window to record anything on your screen and converts that into a gif i think it's one of the best good lock module that you can get for your samsung phone what if i tell you you can use your volume buttons to do more than just increasing or decreasing the volume as you can see if i long press on either of my volume buttons i can easily skip tracks while listening to music on my phone this is super useful when i am doing some other task and i can't take my phone out just to change that one track to get this feature simply open goodlock and install this module called sound assistant now open sound assistant and enable this option called control music with volume keys not only this if you want to change the position of your volume panel to easily access with just one hand then select this option called sound volume panel which you can find inside this module and here you can easily change the position and place the volume slider anywhere on your screen it also activates an inbuilt equalizer by using which you can easily change the sound profile based on your requirement even though the samsung phones are getting better and better we still have one major problem that is the shutter lag so you might have noticed that the camera shutter button is a bit slow while taking pictures on your samsung phone and this can be super annoying when you are trying to take pictures of a car or kids around you you might end up getting a blurry photo now you can actually fix the shutter lag on your phone with the help of a goodlock module called camera assistant so just install the camera assistant from goodlock and once that is done open the camera go to settings and here you get a brand new option called camera assistant just go inside and enable this option called quick tap shutter this will improve the shutter speed then there is another setting you need to change just click on shutter speed and set it to prioritize speed This will prioritize speed over quality and now if I open the camera you see there is almost no shutter lag and it works much better guys if you are worried about the quality of your pictures then i would say the difference is hardly noticeable and i will highly recommend you to enable these settings to improve the shutter lag on your samsung phone when i want to open apps in a pop up window right now i'm in twitter and i want to open this app in a pop up window i just need to double tap on the back of my phone I know there are many ways to open split screen or pop up view but this is the easiest way to do it. Now to activate this feature again go to good lock and this time install the module called registrar. Just open registrar, select back tap action and assign the double tap gesture to open apps in a pop up window. You can also assign different actions to the triple tap gesture. You can take screenshots, access Google Assistant, open the recent menu, open your favorite apps and more. I think it's a very useful module and you must have it on your Galaxy phone. There are so many times I take a screenshot by mistake and it gets saved directly to my gallery. 
but now you can add a simple delete button in this toolbar when you press it instantly delete the screenshot so now you don't have to open your gallery and search for the screenshot you can delete it right away to add this extra button you need to open goodlock and search for this module called nice shot once installed simply open and enable this option called add delete button another cool thing you can do is if you use screen recording a lot you can enable dnd mode when you start screen recording so your phone automatically goes into dnd mode when you start screen recording and you don't get any unwanted notifications next let's talk about customization if you want to change the icon pack without the need of installing any third party launcher or you just want to change the shape of your app icons as you can see i have these rounded icons and these are just the stock samsung icons to get it on your phone head over to goodlock and install this module called theme park now go inside theme park select icons tap on create new and here you can change the shape of your app icons i prefer to be more rounded like this you can also change the color increase or decrease the size as well now in order to apply a different icon pack which you have downloaded from the play store just click on icon packs and here you get all the packs that you have installed on your phone just select it tap on save and then apply the theme that you have just created now if you go back all your icons will look different and that's how you can change the entire look of your home screen a lot of you are asking how to get the stack view while opening the recent apps menu guys if you want to change the layout of your task manager you can easily do that for the help of a good lock module called home up just install the home up module go inside task changer and here you can customize and change the layout of your recent menu there are different styles that you can choose from but i personally like to use the stack and the grid view with one ui 5 samsung added some cool features to customize your lock screen you just need to press and hold and you get the option to change the clock style add different fonts and you can also change the font color but if you want to unlock more features and customize each and every element on your lock screen then you need to install the lockstar module from goodlock now go inside lockstar and here not only you can change the clock style but you can even change the position of your clock you can remove unwanted items from your lock screen you can also customize the lock icon change its color and the best part is it lets you add six of your favorite applications in your lock screen instead of just two so if you want more features to customize your lock screen then definitely install this module that's pretty much it for this video these are some amazing good lock features that you must try on your samsung galaxy smartphone If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button subscribe to this channel if you haven't already i'm mr android and i will see you guys in the next one